Live at Lunch is produced by KRFC 88.9 FM in the Ginger and Baker Studio in Fort Collins, Colorado, and supported by The Music District, a music-centric gathering place to cultivate talents, support professional development, and encourage connections. Welcome to Live at Lunch, KRFC 88.9 FM. This is David V, your host today, and I'm happy to introduce Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies. As I sit on top of that mountain Just drinking my blues away But for some folks this won't stop them for me, it's the only way Yeah, these hills will always be there but That's one thing that I know In this I find perspective Cause we all will come and go Yeah, we'll come and go yeah, we'll come and go Pop the cap and bite that bullet Smoke my pipe and write this song Out here, I'm free from judgment Out here, can do no wrong Out here, find inspiration Out there, find therapy If I died on top of that at least I would die free One thing that I know One thing that's for sure I got no regrets, at least not yet And that's just how I roll If you're feeling down Let's get out of this town Cause I know some place that'll free your soul Gonna free your soul. I'm free now. Instagram. You won't return your text Cause there's no service in the promised land I'm searching for a greater purpose And trying to find therapy If I died on top of that mountaintop At least I would die free One thing that I know One thing that's for show Got no regrets, at least not yet And that's just how I roll If you're feeling down Let's get out of this town Cause I know some place That'll free your soul Gonna free your soul I gotta free your soul I'm gonna free your soul I'm Gonna free your soul I'm Gonna free your soul Gonna free your soul Gonna free your soul
Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies here on KRFC 88.9 FM's Live at Lunch. Well, let's introduce the band. Um, we're going to start out with uh, David Wytrillick on yes, guitar, man. Joe Asker on bass, and Drew Anderson on drums. And uh, let's talk just a little bit uh, with you, Dave. Let's talk. Okay. What do you want to uh, talk about? One thing I'd like to ask is uh, you're from Illinois originally. Originally, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you found your way to St. Louis, and you had some success with bands there in St. Louis area. Yeah. More yeah. of a rock sound. Yeah, St. Louis is kind of, uh, it's got that, you know, kind of gritty rock and roll scene going there. So I played in a band called Kentucky Knife Fight, and we were kind of And I've got to ask you how you arrived at that name. Um, somebody, it was, oh man, if I can remember the story, it was... Uh, it happened at a bar, of course. Um, and uh, In Kentucky? Yeah, it was like someone said something. It's like, you're like a Kentucky knife fight or something. <laughs> well, this is as messy as a Kentucky knife fight. <laughs> and, uh, and they're like, oh, that's a band name. So, mm -hmm. you know, you come across band names in sure. casual conversations Absolutely. all the time. Well, gotta you got to ask because it's pretty interesting. Um, and then St. Louis to Colorado, how'd that happen? Um, well, uh, I always kind of came out and, to visit Colorado for like snowboarding and and stuff and really kind of really connected with the outdoors and nature and sports and stuff like that so i always came out here to visit one of my friends from high school uh richard allen who also is a musician in town here he moved out here like 17 20 years ago and uh i kind of always came out and visited and got to know the town and fell in love with it and moved out here after st louis All right. and you stayed here briefly and then found your way out to southern california los angeles and went to usc yeah, yeah. And now I should address you as doctor. <laughs> Dr. D. <laughs> Dr. So D. So my students call and me. And you got a doctor in jazz guitar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's no country guitar doctorate yet. Really? Yeah. Interesting. So are you using jazz chords on your country? I do, yeah. Our music, I kind of coined it as Western fusion. Right. So it's kind of, you know, it's got the country, you know, Americana themes in it, but also like jazz and funk and soul and kind of all the other things we all listen to and love so it kind of creeps into the, I, to the music. I do think Western Fusion is a, a nice description of the sound you're trying to go for. Um, not quite as uh, country-ish as maybe some of the southern country would be. Yeah, yeah. We're not like not like legit country. We're kind of <laughs> like this hybrid Rebel. version of it. Rebel country. Yeah. Well, uh, what are you going to play for us next? All right. This next song is called Gambling with Love. All right. What's the story behind this one? Oh, um, <laughs> it's kind of personal, but what the heck? Um, yeah, so uh, I kind of been dating um, uh, a lady for a, a little while now, but earlier in the relationship, I kind of goofed up and uh, caused some chaos, and, and we kind of broke up briefly, and I kind of wrote this song about that experience, and uh, it's kind of about, um, you know, gambling with love and, and taking risks and doing stuff. It's kind of selfish in the moment, and... Seems like, you know, makes sense. Like, you know, ask for uh, forgiveness rather than, or ask for, uh, what is it? Um, ask for, it's Un easier to ask for. Understanding? Uh, <laughs> um, forgiveness rather than permission. Exactly. There you yeah. go. Yeah. So, it's so it has nothing that. to do with Las Vegas or anything like that. Nothing about <laughs> Vegas. I've actually never been to Las Vegas. Stakes are a little higher. Yeah, but it is, you know, it's got some gambling things in there. All right. Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies. There you go. Well, I've been around the block just a time or two Finally had a maid, didn't have no blues Took for granted the love I had Putting it off, don't want to rock the boat Things are good now, but I had to go I should have thought twice But had to roll the dice Now the ghost of my past Convict avoidance Little white lies, much more than annoyance Committed to it now I'm slipping deeper and deeper so I had to come clean, but after the fact The damage is done, now we're off the track Hurt and pain, broken trust, the scars remain Gambling with love is a fatal endeavor Love let us say, return to sender Begging forgiveness, not asking for mission Double down Mistakes in my imperfections You're a perfect angel and I lost your connections Called my bluff and you slipped away Now 
Now there's no escape from regret and shame Staring at the moon crying out your name Now I'm on my knees and I hope and pray That a path towards redemption might be a long road If you're willing to go, babe, I'll carry the load I'll do the work and I'll change my ways Our hopes and dreams have brought life together Us against the world, two birds of a feather But now I'm alone Lost in this maze Gambling with love is a fatal endeavor Love letters say Return to sender Begging forgiveness Not asking permission Double down on a poor decision And my imperfections You're a perfect angel And I lost your connections The cards fell hard And you slipped away Now there's no escape From regret and shame Staring at the moon Crying out your name But now I'm on my knees And I hope and pray Gambling with love Is a fatal endeavor Love letters say Return to sender Begging forgiveness, not asking permission Double down on a poor decision Gambling with love is a fatal endeavor Love letters say, return to sender Begging forgiveness, not asking permission Double down on a poor decision with love from Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies here on Live at Lunch. Yeah, nice, sweet, smooth. Is that the way you usually write your songs? I try to. All right. <laughs> I like it sweet, I like it smooth, so let's do this. So obviously, like I said, you graduated with um, a doctorate in jazz guitar, but you're more of a country influence here. What did you listen to growing up, Dave? Um, well, God, honestly, it's kind of like punk rock. Mm -hmm. The first band I was in um, back like when I was like 14, ska punk in the early 90s was kind of like a thing, um, or mid 90s, whatever. The, um, limit, the Limits? Uh, the Limits. Limits? Wow, you must have been doing your homework, Dave. <laughs> Ooh, that's going way back. Yeah, The Limits. Um, uh, so, yeah, I kind of started playing music and band. Playing trumpet was my first instrument. And then. Um, you know, a little bit of jazz influence because they had a jazz band and I was a member of that and started getting into the, into the jazz and punk rock and ska and then it was uh, moved into jam bands and that's kind of how I transitioned into jazz guitar was, I don't know, I was kind of like in the fish and, and really in a tray Anastasio's guitar playing and, and all that. So, um, yeah, that kind of led me into jazz and trying to be a jam bander and then it was like pure jazz and then it was like country crept in later. Um, I, like I didn't listen I'm to country just gonna growing say up. I'm not like from the country. The full spectrum of genres. But or... somehow, like the songs <laughs> I was writing, just all it was like this is like a country song. Like it's all depressing <laughs> music about like relationships and booze and stuff. So it's I don't know. It kind of just happened, I guess, with the with the music. But I do like country and listen to a, right. old country a lot. And so what are you listening stuff. to right now that uh, um, well you is know, influencing? Influenced. Uh, I really like. Uh, 
Tyler Childers, Childers. Um, I like Sturgill Simpson. You know, Hank Williams, of course. And Sturgill. Yeah, Sturgill. Because he's kind of a he's all over the place too. He's not yeah. just like strictly. Well, his last Nashville album was electronic. Country. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah, you know, won a Grammy and they wouldn't let him be on the stage to accept his uh, country Grammy. So he sat out front of, of the arena there and had his guitar case open and played acoustic guitar. He's a character. Yeah, yeah. I like that kind of going against the grain of the traditional. Mm-hmm. You know, mainstream country stuff. Absolutely, yeah. The modern day Waylon Jennings. Mm-hmm. Well, let's uh, let's talk to uh, Joe Asker. Joe, you're a jack of all trades. You're playing with a whole bunch of people, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, quite a few. I yeah? try to keep pretty busy. Why don't you name off some of the bands you're playing with here in town? Oh man, and locally. Uh, let's see, Violet Pilot, Big Brooklyn, uh, the Twirling Zucchinis, guy named Trevor Michael, great singer songwriter. Obviously, Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies. You're running a jam night too, aren't you? Yeah, I do some some jam sessions every first and third Wednesday of every month at the Island Grill. There's a jazz jam session, and then every Tuesday I'll occasionally sub in as the house band for one down at the Poor House in Loveland. Um, so if anybody's looking for a bass player in town, you've got plenty of time to yeah. s- sit in with them? Tons, tons of time. <laughs> I'll, I'll learn all your songs. <laughs> Yeah, and you're also uh, uh, listen to a pretty wide variety of music yourself. I mean, you're into classical as well as yeah. country and alternative. And uh, absolutely, what are you I mean, listening to these days? A lot of stuff that I have to learn for upcoming gigs. Mainly, mm-hmm. um, that's how I learn music is just throwing it on and having it on while I'm doing other stuff. Um, it's a good way to prep for gigs. But like, if I'm sitting down to listen to something, I'll like Madison Cunningham or Hiatus Coyote, some of that neo soul. Almost pop, not quite. Lake Street Dive is always on repeat for me. Nice. That sort of stuff. And then sometimes I'll sit down and listen to a Mahler Symphony all the way through. And, you know, right. no, uh, no preference, really. Drew Anderson on drums back there. Drew, uh, what are you listening to these days? Oh, gosh. I, I'm kind of a... I enjoy a little bit of everything. I mean, like Joe said, I've been preparing for a lot of shows recently as well. And, so and who a lot else of, do you play with? I play with a band called Titanic. That's kind mm-hmm. of a, a cover band here in Fort Collins, and mm-hmm. we do a lot of weddings and a lot of brass soul funk. Yeah, it's like an eight-piece um, funk band with horns and everything like that. So we actually have a wedding tomorrow, and I've, I'm, I'm shutting out some of those new <laughs> songs. So I mean, we have the core songs that we always play, but then there's special requests for each wedding, and so there's nine or ten songs that I need to learn. And, Are you originally from the area here, Drew? Um, I've lived here for about twenty years now. Mm-hmm. I've moved here from Flagstaff, Arizona, in uh, two thousand two. I was going to say a little cooler, but these days it uh, really hasn't been much cooler than Flagstaff. Yeah, I guess Flagstaff <laughs> has a bad fire currently too. But yeah, Flagstaff's up. Oh yeah, at you're about... sharing all your smoke with us these days. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think it is affecting us as well. But yeah, Flagstaff's up above seven thousand feet. So um, yeah, it was a nice town. I actually went to school there and lived there for a few years, and then uh, made my way out here after that. So, what drew you all to the Fort Collins area? would you say? Was it music? Was it just Colorado itself? I mean, for me, it was um, kind of the whole mixed bag. I mean, there's access to, like, the mountains and outdoor stuff. It's kind of outside of the city fold, you know, living in big cities and stuff. Kind of that's, that's great if you're into it, but I wasn't super into it. So it's kind of like a small, big town, similar to the size I grew up in. It's got outdoors, mountains. It's got good culture and arts and music and stuff. It's just kind of a I don't know, kind of a cool cool place to, to live. About the same for you, too? I moved out here to do my master's degree at CSU mm-hmm. and then stuck around just mainly because of, yeah, the outdoors and because uh, the music scene here is so vibrant. There's a million amazing players that I would love to play with. Drew? For me, uh, when I was, I was married at the time when we moved out here, and my wife's parents were from Fort Collins, and we kind of wanted to live near Boulder. Um, for the music scene and just just to be, uh, you know, coming from Flagstaff, we didn't really know, you know, the difference between Boulder and Fort Collins. But As um, far as price? As far as price and <laughs> culture and, yeah. So now I'm glad I don't live in Boulder. But, um, yeah, they agreed to, to kind of put us up initially uh, until I found work. And so we, that's what brought us here to Fort Collins and just I haven't left. So. All right. So what are you guys going to play for us next? Break Me Away? 
Uh, Break Me Away. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah. Which is, is that off the new album? This is off the new album. And it's what's not that going to be track. called? It, uh, the title track of the new album is um, No Regrets. It's the name of the album, too, oh, of there course. You go. But uh, yeah, this is Break Me Away. All right. And we have an album coming out. We'll talk more about that, I'm sure. You bet. <laughs> Something one might say As this place takes you away Like an escape you could break Break me away I noticed just this year I care less to hold back tears It's compromise, so face your fear. But when I see those mountains all along horizons, I feel home. But everyone's come. Crowding, searching for just something to hold on. Crowd wolf, she fooled me twice. Spoke of things that were not nice. Now it's done. Told everyone. Paid the price. A gypsy soul, it takes its toll on those from which it rolls, rolls away. One might say we're all alone. But when I see those mountains all along. Come crowd in, searching for just something to hold on.
is a human intuition or just human condition hit the reset being present but on a mission that's how one can get by through the struggles in our lives you could break you couldn't break Break me away Now wisdom comes with time And experience one might find Mindfulness and true bliss If you control your mind I noticed just this year I care less Hold back tears, no more disguise, it's compromise, so face your fears. Dave and the Gin Mule Gypsies here on KRFC 88.9 FM's Live at Lunch. So let's talk a little bit about the new album. Right. When's it coming out? It's coming out July 8th. And where can people get themselves a copy of that? Well, you can get it from um, us at a show, of course. You can come to a show. Hard um, copy CD. Hard copy CD. Yeah, we're actually printing CDs. It's kind of a tough decision to make nowadays. I, I, because it's I like, still it think it's a smart, to, you know, it depends on the age group and uh, yeah. what equipment they have at home. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of a old-fashioned with the, the album thing and artwork and that whole kind of ritual of pulling the CD out. But, um, but yeah, it's going to be on all the digital service platforms, um, and uh, you can order it off of uh, our website, which uh, we're kind of building right now, but um, yeah. So would Facebook be better? Facebook, um, yeah, I mean, we have uh, Facebook. We're um, Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies at Facebook. We have a Reverb Nation page. We also have uh, Instagram, which is at Gin Mill Gypsies. So if you want a copy, like, you can easily kind of get a hold of us or go to the website, my, my website, davidwytrolick.com. W I A T R O L I K is the there last name, but uh, I'll have like a button up there where you can order it. But um, yeah, where, where'd you guys record at? We recorded um, most of it at uh, Front Range Community College, mm. where I where I teach recording arts. Mm -hmm. um, we got a studio up there, so um, recorded most of the track, most of the instruments up there, and then I recorded some of the stuff at home in my home studio and mixed and mastered it uh, myself at home. Speaking of teaching, you do teach private lessons, guitar, bass, theory, production? Yes. Just yes, about everything mean, associated anything with music, it sounds related like. Related to music. I'll <laughs> even help you with your, uh, your problems. You can and designing stuff with you know, album covers. and. Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a mixed bag. It's like whatever, you know, you want to learn stuff. I have some experience and happy to share it. So it's pretty, pretty open as far as what the curriculum is for my private teaching. For people to get a hold of you for lessons... Where would they go? Um, yeah, you can go to my website, uh, davidwytrollick.com, or um, you can email me, of course, at uh, david.wytrollick at gmail.com. So if you can spell my last name, um, <laughs> you can find it. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's easy to get a hold of me. I've got a Google business page up there, too. So, Joe, yeah. do you teach? I do. Because well, uh, you have so much free time. Yeah, yeah. all the free time. <laughs> So, uh, if people are interested in um, bass lessons? Yeah, um, I have an email. Uh, it's listed on my website, which is joeaskerbass.com. But I actually spell my Joe name without an E. So it's just J O A S K E R bass.com. All right, that's good to know because I've been spelling it with an E. <laughs> it's a weird thing, it's uh, pretty unusual. All right, Drew, do you teach? Um, no, I don't teach. I have a day job. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I've taught in the past. I've, sure. I've taught West African um, drumming, and I've I've taught some drums and stuff like that. But interesting. Um, and I have 
three kids and I've taught them a lot of stuff. But What's your day job? I work for UC Health. I work in oncology Excellent. as a pharmacist. Wonderful. Yeah. Good, I've been with them for... Good side job. There's 20 <laughs> years now this August, so it's been a minute. Yeah. That's a long time to do anything, mm -hmm. even yes. play music. Yeah, it's getting old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Ghosts would be the next one, maybe, huh? Is this yeah. off the new one, too? This is off the new one as well. We're only playing new stuff All right. today. So, Wonderful. Yeah. This one's called Ghosts. I got to ask, though, so before you start, uh -huh. what's the story behind this oh, one? Oh, well, it's not a happy one. Um, it's about uh, um, a few years ago, maybe like four years ago, uh, one of my uh, close musician friends in St. Louis passed away, um, a suicide. And, and then around the same exact time, a, a friend, a close friend of mine, her, um, her, her boyfriend also committed suicide. So it's like, it's a story about kind of like death and dealing with it and the mess that's left behind and, you know, the, the struggles of people with their mental health. And um, I don't know if I articulate all that in the lyrics as well as I just did, but um, it's, it's a story about that, you know, just, uh, you know, dealing with the loss all and right. the ghosts of, of people and the memories. All right. Disappearing Suffering In silence Such a kind Soul But so empty Inside Now we're out there In the cold Asking ourselves Why I'm asleep to the bar So take my keys I won't get too far Cause death be coming Way too soon I see two ghosts in my room Lies waiting way too soon You will be missed But not forgotten I 
see two ghosts in my room Lives are taken way too soon You will be missed But not forgotten Oh, you will be missed But not forgotten No Cause death be coming Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies here on KRC 88.9 FM's Live at Lunch. You know, when you were in California, you uh, performed and composed music for some TV shows and a few things like that, a few shorts, movie shorts, films. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, uh, I was out there trying to get into film stuff um, mm -hmm. while I was there. I was really busy with grad school. Sure. That's kind of why I went out there. But, um, yeah, I tried to do some, some film composition stuff. And, uh, you know, commercial work, TV commercials and whatever. And, uh, freelance guitaring. Freelance and... guitar, yeah. It was kind of a period of time where I didn't perform a whole lot. Like, I performed way more than I did um, out there. Uh, but uh, Do you have any success at all with that, or was um, it a pretty stiff competition? You know, it's, it's tough to get into that scene. You kind of have to spend, you know, pay your dues. Literally, mm -hmm. you have to be out there for a while and get to know people. And, you know, one job leads to another job, leads to another job. And you kind of build this community of people that are... In the film, you know, business or trying to get into it together as kind of like a, a group of people doing production and, and whatever. And so that takes time. And I wasn't out there long enough to really kind of get into it. But uh, I do enjoy doing it now and then. Working on a doctorate takes up quite a bit of time, I'm sure. Yeah, especially doing it in three years. It was, it was really intense. Whoa, you packed it in. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I was going to uh, ask you a little bit about uh, what you have as far as upcoming gigs. Yeah. Um, late June and beyond here. Uh, what would you say is uh, coming up on the uh, on the touring schedule? Well, the the biggest thing we've got um, obviously is the CD release show, um, and honestly, that's the only thing I've really have on my mind at this. Where's moment. that going to be at? It's going to be at the Lyric on in Fort Collins. In, yeah, the Lyric Cinema on uh, July eighth, right. and we're sharing the bill with. Um, with uh, Richard Allen is going to play an acoustic opener set. Okay. And then uh, Elise Wonder is going to play with her band, Das Wonder Band. And, uh, and then us. So that's July 8th. That's the, that's the big one to mark your calendar. What time does the show start, do you believe? Um, it's going to be about, a, I think, 7 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll hit the stage at dusk. We give um, it a chance to cool down a bit. Yeah. You'll be outside, right? We'll be outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be out there in front of that big screen. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, trying to think of what else, honestly. I've been so busy with um, doing the record, like you know, pr doing sure, the production promotion stuff, and production uh, and getting it out. Well, and not so much with the promotion, more of the, <laughs> the mixing well, and mastering. Right now but, we're promoting it. But yeah, yeah, yeah here we are, <laughs> phase two. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, I mean, I, I play a lot with other groups. Uh, I do mm -hmm. like the jazz brunch on s like Saturdays and Sundays at the Armstrong Hotel. And oh, I play really? with um, a band called Funky Business, and we do weddings like every week and all summer. All right, so, so you guys will be playing at that. the uh, CSU Lagoon series, won't you? We played that. Uh, or you just did. We just played that. That's what it was, yeah. That was, was that Wednesday? What day is this? Friday? Yeah. Yeah. How'd yeah. that go? It was awesome. All right. It's, it's like the production there and, and the crowd, it was amazing. It was yeah, so... The stage is great. Big stage, yeah. yeah I get TV cameras running around, great sound. Um, you know, hundreds of and hundreds of people. So for our listeners and viewers out there, a great place to go see shows this summer, CSU Lagoon Series. What are you going to play for us next? Um, yeah, I think we're going to do one called I Don't Care, I Don't Mind. All right, sounds pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> Super easy. This is where that jazz degree comes in. All right. <laughs> a virtue But I've never, never, never been much for waiting All them feelings They can't hurt you 
if you lower, lower, lower your expectations. Said I lower, 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 lower my expectations. I'm drinking wine, it's just fine, I don't care, I don't mind. Your red hair, love affair, other things I don't care. Is this thing just a flea through the void inside of Another time I'll resign to write songs, drinking wine. I'll find something else to pass the time. A routine or a ritual will cleanse my mind. To build up time. The disappointment sucks But my calluses are sure getting tough Said my calluses are getting tough From drinking wine it's just fine I don't care, I don't mind Your red hair love affair Of the things I don't care is a thing just a flea fill a void inside him? Another time I resign to writing songs, drinking wine. Have a sip. That appears from time to time All them things That I feel most I'll just purge, purge Through melody and rhyme Bury for a long, long time As we practice Just focus on my goals of finance Just another of life's episodes Just another thorny road I don't care, I don't mind by Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies here on Live at Lunch. Yeah, jazz chords, a couple of time changes in there, I heard. Uh, yeah, 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 that was the, that. you're right, hit that one. A <laughs> little bit of jazz going on there. We like to make the music harder than it needs to be. <laughs> well, I don't think you have to worry about anybody trying to rip you off on that one. That's a little tough to follow on the yeah. time changes. Great. So, um, I was going to ask you, you know, uh, being in Colorado, we have so many fantastic places to play, and uh, obviously being in the middle of the country, we see so many fantastic touring artists coming through national and local. Um, wh what was uh, probably one of the most iconic places you got to play at here in Colorado? Iconic? Yeah, I don't know. Or places that you just appreciated yourself? That was 
Um, the and there's so there's so many yeah there's so many really neat venues. I mean, playing the breweries is awesome. You know, the laid back atmosphere, being outside in the summer times on the patios, those are great. Um, Hard not to find a town with a bre- without a brewery here in Colorado, isn't it? Yeah, it's. I think it's impossible. <laughs> you throw a rock and hit a brewery and a couple drunk people. Yeah. Um, and they throw it back at you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the lyrics fun. I mean, we played a. Played a, I played at the Crown Pub um, recently, and that mm-hmm. was kind of like a, you know, Sundays at the Crown Pub Jazz. So they kind of got that going. That's a fun little loungy spot to play. Get your um, little whiskey tasting. And yeah, yeah. That's nice. How about you guys? Man. Joe, you, you play with so many people. You've had to hit a few, I'm sure. Um, it's a relatively new venue, but Washington's is just oh yeah, so fun to go see a show, so fun to play a show there. It's like, Top shelf. It's amazing. Everything about it. Even yeah. the green room. Yeah, even the, oh my gosh, <laughs> the green room is incredible. <laughs> but uh, this, this band, Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies, we would do this show up in Gould every year yeah. or twice a year. Really? What uh, venue up there? Uh, the community center. Cool. For like the ski scramble. Um, man, that's so fun. It's like this shack and it's in the middle of winter, so there's like feet of snow on the ground and... The whole community comes out and like sure. dances and hangs out. You're the only attraction for miles around up there. Exactly. Yeah, there's no competition. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a pretty awesome thing to, to do. Those little community events like that um, kind of start contrast to the Washington's thing, but yeah. it's a really cool, cool scene. Dave. I mean, Drew, I'm sorry. What about you, Drew? Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, the, I, I got to play the Aggie Theater several times. That was fun. You know, mm-hmm. living here for 20 years. It's Another was, epic green room. Yeah. I actually stopped playing drums for a number of years, and I had kids. And so uh, as I was out and about, I was like, oh, man, I should be up there playing. And so it was it was pretty neat to be able to play a couple shows there. Um, there's a stage out at uh, Lori State Park that's just kind of out oh, in the yeah. desert a little ways. Mm-hmm. And um, it's kind of near the pump track that's out there. And they have events out there occasionally. And that's kind of a unique, fun place. I did get to play at the Mishawaka um, with Titanic, yeah. and so that was that was pretty awesome too. After oh, yeah. you know being there quite a bit and seeing shows, and just to be up on that stage and have the river over your shoulder. And are your kids old enough to be musical yet? Oh yeah, yeah. My son is uh, 21, my daughter's 19, and I have a, an 11 year old. So you started when you were 15, apparently, or yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Do they all play? Um, they did, yeah. My my son played drums through um, high school and in middle school, and he played in the jazz band. He doesn't really play anymore, but they and then my daughter did um, violin, and she was involved in the orchestra. And then my youngest did some piano lessons and some guitar. Um, but I wouldn't say any of them play now, but uh, they enjoy music a lot, and they they have a deep appreciation for it. And um, yeah, so sounds like uh, orchestra band was important to. Everybody here, including family members, growing up, mm-hmm. supporting early music education. Yeah, I mean, yeah, without I that, school, I don't yeah. think I would have. I would have probably picked up guitar earlier, but you know, gotten like any kind of formal instruction sure. at a younger age, and just pushed to be like, here, here's the trumpet. Go make some noise and figure <laughs> it out, and discover what music is for you. Do you still play the trumpet on your I stuff? No, man. I I played it like seriously for like 15, 16 years. Even in college, I was. It's in like the riding jazz a bike. Band. You don't forget. I don't know, man. Trump is brutal. <laughs> it's it's loud and obnoxious and sounds terrible. Callus is built up on the lips again. But yeah, you got to get the chops. I mean, like you, it's weird because with I remember with trumpet when I was practicing every day for a few hours, if I like skipped one day, it would take me a week to get back to the comfort level of like you know being on top of things. On top of things. So it's like it's no mercy. Like the guitar, you can like let a couple days go by and it's like yeah, I'm sloppy, but mm-hmm. it's not calluses. like I can't play. Notes. Can't let those calluses go down, can you? Yeah, you got about a week before <laughs> those start deteriorating. So, all right. So, saying something is what you plan on playing uh, next. We might, if we, yeah, if, or it's up to you. We might kind of bounce to uh, force, force in my, my mind. mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And again, from the new album, and uh, that's uh, no regrets. Yeah. By Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies. The past is the past, some memories unkind Like sand through the hourglass, we see it 
character built from storms and rain the silver lining of struggle and pain will you find me in the midst of a quarantine deep down in the caves of a lonely dream try to learn patience biding my time Your gypsy soul, so close to mine, fills the holes you left behind. Even if you tell me that it's not the right time, I'll chase you through the forest of my mind. Day by day, with the friendship first, hidden passion, lost, don't quench your blood thirst. Occasional touch and smile and glance Just building your trust As we do this dance A holiday scarred by loss and death Let's make a new memory Take a new breath You sing a melody that's so divine I'll chase you through the forest of your gypsy soul so close to mine Fills the hole she left behind Even if you tell me that it's not the right time I'll chase you through the forest of my mind But the shadow box fairy tales in my mind Truth be told, this is not the right time So I blow across the plains like a tumbleweed Maybe find some place to plant that seed Maybe that seed will blossom in time To grow into the forest of your gypsy soul, so close to mine, fills the holes you left behind. Even if you tell me that it's not the right time, I'll chase you through the forest of my mind. I'll chase you through the forest of my mind. I'll chase you through the forest of my mind. Dave and the Gin Mule Gypsies here on KRFC 88.9 FM's Live at Lunch, the forest of my mind. All right. Almost had to hold Joe back there on the bass solo. 
Uh-huh. I was going for throw it. Some, some weird chords at him while he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> <Make it> interesting. <laughs> All right. So again, you guys will be introducing your new album here at the Lyric Theater here in Fort Collins, July 8th, you said? July 8th, yep, at the Lyric. And uh, people can get information at the Lyric's website. They can mm -hmm. also get information from your Facebook, Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies. Yep, Instagram. I'll be posting a bunch of stuff on the Instagram page. Um, that's um, at Gin Mill Gypsies. So uh, yeah, you Google search us, there's tons of things that pop up. So easy to get a hold of us. And yeah, we'd love to see you there. Anything that, uh, words of wisdom, uh, since you all have played in various bands and uh, been around a while here in the Front Range, uh, bits of information or words of wisdom that you give people trying to get into the music industry here in the Front Range? The music industry? Oh, I don't know. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. I, I'd say that generally. It's like, um, and you want to stay true to like what you're... What you're doing if you hop on a bandwagon or you try to do something that's not kind of authentic to who you are and, and like what your passion is kind of flowery language but more or less like you, you got to sustain that so in and trends change you know people like authenticity so you just do your thing and do it you know whether it's popular or not eventually people will notice and hopefully that sustains you too because you enjoy it and it's your real you know your real story so I'd just say that, and also, you know, education's great. So mm -hmm. learn how to do stuff, be hungry for knowledge, and be humble, you know, about what you're doing. And um, that should give you some good starting tips. I can't tell you how many artists I've talked to who the first thing they said was authenticity. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's important. Be, you know, if you don't try and copy somebody else. Be, be yourself. Yep. Do yep. what you want to do. Well, before I get too far into it. We've, we're down to about three and a half minutes left in the show. Uh, I'd like to thank our audio tech crew today, Andy Howes, Colton Benning, and Paul Woo! Dots. And also our fantastic video crew from Fort Collins Public Media, Chris Winslow, Eric Delano, and Jeremy Smith. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Great job, as always. Well, uh, anything we'd like to touch base on that uh, we haven't talked about yet? Um, did we talk about our feelings enough? Yeah, I don't know. How are you feeling, Dave? How are you? Can I interview you for a second? I'm better every day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Love what I do. It's great being able to, to chat with uh, local musicians and meet people every week. And, uh, you know, being music director at KRFC is a fantastic uh, um, job to have. Yeah. I'm a happy man. And we really appreciate everything you guys do at KRFC and at the public media. Like, this is amazing to be able to just, like, come in here and, and play, you know, when you're just trying to get your music out. So this is an amazing resource. One of the great things we have here in this community. It just, it's, a, it's a hidden gem for sure. And for all you people listening and viewing out there, don't forget to go to KRFC's Radio Vision YouTube channel. Uh, it's a wonderful place to see all the artists that we have every Friday on Live at Lunch. Uh, you can go back and review your favorite artists and watch it multiple times. And while you're on the website, subscribe. It's a good thing. It helps not just us, but the musicians uh, when you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, we're down to just a couple of minutes. What would you like to leave us out with? We might go out with our instrumental tune off the record called uh, The Gin Mill Strut. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, yeah. All okay. right, thanks for having us uh, with you today here on Live at Lunch. Thanks for having us here with you <laughs> today. Dave and the Gin Mill Gypsies. All right. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Live at Lunch, and thank you to the Music District here in the heart of Fort Collins, Colorado. Live at Lunch is produced by KRFC 88.9 FM in the Ginger and Baker studio. If you'd like to appear on Live at Lunch, email our music director, David Vosick, at david at krfcfm.org.